Ladies and gentlemen, Candace Pryor presents Being Queer Ain't for Sissies. Candace Pryor. Okay, so like you said, my name is Candace Fryer, AKA Art Acrobat. Google it, thank you. Um, what I'm gonna do is reenact for you situations and conversations that I've either been in or overheard. All right, um, so the first one is a casual Facebook chat with an educated male gone terribly awry. <laughs> in sexuality, Women are the negative polarity. Maybe you should be sexually negative as you are on the receiving end, right? <laughs> Women are still energetically the negative polarity. The strap-on acts as an insulator so they don't cancel out, right? Sounds like you have a lot of interest in this endeavor. Maybe you should become one. No, Fulio. I'm speaking on metaphysical terms. Read a little astrology. The female is the negative. It is you who is interpreting the negative as less than positive. They are simply opposite polarities. Guys, guys, come on. Both of you have valid perspectives. Let's love each other. The only valid point of view is mine, as it is founded on reason and experience. On that note, isn't lesbian sex, which uses phallic toys, kind of ironic? I mean, really, I can only love a woman as long as she has a plastic penis to fuck me with like a man. Any lesbo couple who uses penis like toys are lying to themselves and hiding behind their fear of the differences between men and women to justify what they must seek intimacy only with women who preferring the physical part be represented as if she was with a man. And by the way, men can perform cunnilingus and the bit accomplished by a bit accomplished by a strap on just saying. Don't look at that, just, just look at the pictures, but look, but look at me. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Act two, black female telephone interviewer, dark, dank call center, cubicle. Look, there go that little bald-headed model client chick that used to date Kanye. Oh yeah, I remember her, she's so cute. Why she bald though? Why she bald? Cause she gay, duh! <laughs> but how she gay if she with Kanye? She a man, right? Or is she a woman? Wait, she with a man, so she's a woman, right? Look, that's why I keep my weave tight, you understand me? Cause my man do not want no bald-headed female, okay? Any female that's bald-headed is definitely, most definitely gay. You ready for break? Let's go, girl. Act three, aspiring male, cotton mouth rapper, hustling his rap CDs in Brooklyn, New York. Yo, what up, Ma, what's good with you though? Check out my CDs. Yo, I did everything. I rapped, I wrote it, you know what I'm saying? I produced it, you know what I'm saying? The, the uh, uh, drones, that's me. I did everything, right? I'm saying, you know, I would appreciate like $5 though. It's only $5. Get at me. Oh, that's you? That girl over there, that's you? Man, that's what I'm talking about, these females out here, man. You need to be with a real dude like me, you know what I'm saying? You ain't never been with nobody like me. That's why you with that girl over there, that's some bull, man. Well, F you then, you know what I'm saying? F you. I didn't want your money anyway, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I don't take no lesbian money, you nasty dyke. Get out of here. Act four, young girl chatting with her friend in between classes, maybe at UNCG. <laughs> like, oh my God, I had the most craziest weekend. It was trippy. So here's what I did, right? Like I had like Jaeger shots. Have you ever seen those? You like they put like the ball or whatever and it's like, whoa. So anyways, I had like four, and then I saw this girl, and she was like super, super cute, right? But I was totally wasted, right? So anyways, so she comes over to me, and I'm like feeling it, right? And so we're like, you know, dancing, whatever, and like Kanye was on and stuff. You know, she's dating that girl. Anyways, so we're like dancing, and then she like starts touching me, and I was like feeling it, and then she kissed me like right in the mouth, and I was like, ew, gross. 
I mean, I kissed her and everything, but I'm totally not gay. Like, I'm totally a Christian. My mom would freaking kill me. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of like that song, Katy Perry, like two girls. I kissed a girl and I liked it, but don't tell anyone. Oh my God, Sarah, if you freaking tell anyone, I will freaking kill you. Act five, Target dressing room. How many? Mm-hmm, go ahead. Uh, excuse me, don't you see the sign? Women dressing room, you is a boy. Well, if you a woman, why you dress and look like a man then? Why is you bald? Why you got on men's clothes? That's me. Well, I don't understand. If you're trying to try on clothes, you might as well do that in your own home. You can try it on when you get home, you can return it. You know Target got a good return policy. <laughs> Act six, Pastor Worley, Providence Road Baptist Church, pulpit on the Sabbath, reading to his congregation. I figured a way to get rid of all these lesbians. No, you cannot watch. I got a great idea. We gonna build a great big old fence, about 100, 150, something like that, big around, okay? And what we gonna do is put all them lesbians all in the inside. And you know what? They're not gonna be able to get out. When they get hungry, we'll just have a helicopter and we'll drop food on them. And you know what else? They're gonna die. You know why? Because they can't procreate. Then we won't have no more lesbians. I saw the other day, okay? Lord help me. Saw the other day. Two men kissing. Can you believe that? Father forgive me. But can you imagine two men kissing? What if I kissed a man? I mean, I wouldn't, I'm just saying. That ain't godly, it ain't right. So like I said, put some money in the pulpit, bring it on around, we are gonna pray over it, and we are gonna build that fence. <laughs> Love you, mommy.